Hello and welcome to this week's ARC video. In this week, we're going to talk about landscape materials and how to edit them so you can add your own texture in. This week I want to go over something that I did on stream that I realized I hadn't done a video for. Next week, we're going to talk about how to do uh, the bosses for the obelisks over there. Um, but for this week, I wanted to do something really quick just to show you something that I did on stream that I got one tiny question about. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Um, so the new island material uh, that's on each landscape, so if I select this landscape, um, the MI underscore new island is the landscape material. Landscape materials have things that you can paint on. So if I switch to um, not paint, the landscape button here and then swap the paint, we can see all the different materials that are on the landscape here. So during the stream, I created the snow one and uh, I, I only did it really quickly because I wanted to test how it, how it looked in conjunction with some of the static meshes I was putting out here. Um, and it looks fine from afar, but, oh, we have to compile shaders. I'm not sure why. All right, now that the shaders have compiled, as I was saying, um, from afar, the snow looks fine. It matches with the static meshes. I was never concerned about that. But as I get closer, you can see that I used a detail map, a normal map from a jungle pebble. And when you're walking on the snow, A, it doesn't sound quite right, and B, it doesn't look quite right. So we're going to remake some of the snow texture on our, on our landscape material. And, and when, while I do that, I will talk about how to make materials on a landscape material, because as you'll see, it's quite complicated. Um, when you do this, you will have huge shader... Um, compilations so just be forewarned there's a lot of waiting when you do this so let's get started uh, the first thing you're gonna do is select your landscape come down here to your material and then you just hit this uh, magnifying glass right here and it takes you to the landscape material that you're using inside the instance of the content browser and then we're just gonna double click on it And this opens up the landscape material inside uh, our explorer here. And we're going to double click the material in the bottom left, MM New Island. And we'll see that we actually have this huge, and I mean huge, in fact it lags out your computer going so long. But these are all different materials, this whole row here. These are all different materials that go into a list, an array right here, this layer blend, and those are all the different things that you can paint onto the landscape material, which is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a single one of these, um, a material here like this, and then add that to this array and then it will show up on the left side here for us to select as snow. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do in our array is add a new element. So just select the array with, with a regular left click here and then on the left side here you can actually pull down and see all 26 layers. And these are all the different elements that you can paint onto the landscape right now. So we are just going to hit the plus sign at the top and create a 27th element. And then we can rename it to whatever we want. So this will be layer snow 2. Um, because I want this to be different from the other snow, um, but still snow. So you'll see as soon as we, I clicked off, layer snow 2 showed up down there. We can look at it if we want. So since an array starts at 0, this is the 26th element of a 27 element array. 
we don't need to change any of this. I was just sort of showing you that it's there. So I'm doing all my additions on this right side here. Um, so there's two ways we can do this. There's an easy way and a hard way. So naturally we're going to do the easy way. But I do want to show how to do it the hard way, at least in principle. Each part of this individual material, which is all of these nodes here, which you can paint onto your landscape, is created by right-clicking and then searching. So if you want to switch, it helps if you can spell switch. If you want to switch, you can create a static switch. If you want a uh, texture sample, you can create a texture sample, so on and so forth. So each of these is something on this list that you can search. Each of the switches goes to a material attribute. And a material attribute is a type of material that allows you to put anything into it. So in particular, we are concerned with, and I'll go through what each of these means, a specular diffusion, metallic, a roughness, an ambient occlusion. Uh, we don't really need to know about SSAO intensity and SSA influence and light influence. Um, those are the same for all of the materials, so that's just something for Unreal. Um, we want to know about diffuse maps, landscape coordinates, scales, and normals. And I'll go through what each one of these are now. So let's start over here on a specular map. A specular is a light parameter, so this material gives off how much light on a scale of 0 to 1. Uh, and that's why it's a parameter here, and if I select it, you can see that we can actually change it. So it's part of the global parameters on a scale of 0 to 1. We don't want it to give off half the light possible of a uh, material, so it's going to reflect half of the light. How metallic it looks literally is how shiny the material can look and we might actually mess with this just a little bit on ours um, because snow can be a little bit shiny but we have to be careful because shiny and roughness which is another one of the things don't really go hand in hand together there's th they're typically opposites so we want snow to be rough um, but we also want it to shine a little bit so we'll we'll do a little bit light on the metallic side um, and, and as I just prefaced a little bit, roughness is literally how rough a material appears. Moving on um, to our diffuse maps and our landscape coordinates. So landscape coordinates in the scale of our diffuse and normal maps dictate sort of the LOD intensity. So like I, like I showed here, let's minimize this. Far away, this looks pretty normal right um, it looks just like regular snow but as we get closer our landscape coordinates as we get closer to our actual landscape coordinates we get higher and higher amounts of details so that's essentially what what this is doing the scale of it adjusts closer to the normal from the diffuse map as we get closer to the landscape coordinates that's Long story short, that's what this whole thing does. So the diffuse map is how a UV is diffused across it. The normal map is sort of a more detailed approach. As you get closer to it, this is what you'll actually see. So this is the thing that I'm actually not overly thrilled with on our current snow. So this is what we'll end up changing in our new snow. Like I said, there is an easy way and a hard way to do this. And we're going to do it the easy way. And the easy way to do this is I already have this copied. And I have this made. You don't have this made on the New Island. So I'll go ahead and show you where I grabbed this from the get-go. It's actually from, as you can see here, Jungle Pebbles. So Jungle Pebbles is up here just a little bit. Um, Sharded Cliffs will work too. So you just grab all of this right here. Right-click and hit duplicate and it's going to create a whole new copy of it so I'm going to do that from right here because I don't want to have to drag it as far right click hit duplicate
and lo and behold we have a fresh new copy of all of that so this is my second snow I'm just gonna drag it down here and we're gonna go through and change some of these things we also need to drag the switch uh, the output of the switch into our snow 2 so this is the switch um, this comes out of the material so the output of the material comes into a switch so if it's selected over here then you output this material onto the landscape that's all that switch says so just like in the paint thing when we can come over here and say hey, you know I'm painting with pine needles now or I'm painting with redwood stream now um, that's that's that switch activating um, so now I'm painting with snow so this switch is true that's all that does so we have our entire second material here um, and we're just gonna make a couple changes to it because I was not perfectly thrilled with the one I did on stream um, but I wanted to test it just a little bit so the specular parameter I want to change to 0.45 uh, the metallic I'm gonna change to 0.1 because like I said I want snow to be a little bit shiny um, but not too too shiny roughness I'm fine with one ambient occlusion I'm fine with one I just realized that I forgot to describe what ambient occlusion is ambient occlusion is a rendering technique uh, and it calculates how exposed each point of a material is to ambient lighting so um, in this case our ambient lighting is done by our skybox uh, if we go into our scene here and, and look up it, there is a direct sunlight um, right there but even you know from the side there is some ambient lighting that's created by this by this uh, skybox so that ambient lighting all this is all this thing says on, on a scale of zero to one how likely is this material to reflect that ambient lighting how likely is it to show up with that ambient lighting and almost for every material sans potentially one you might use in a cave or something like that almost every material is going to have a one so we're not going to change that we're not going to change any of the ssao stuff uh, what we are going to change is stuff over here so i'm fine with this diffuse map of complete white um, you might have a different diffuse map so I'll talk about how to find it so you select the diffuse map here come to this drop down list and we are looking for snow just like that so that's our diffuse map we don't need to change landscape coordinates uh, and, and we don't really need to change the scale. We just need to change this off of jungle to globals and leave our default value at 5. This normal is where, where I made the mistake here in, in the landscape material uh, that I made before. So we're going to come down here and we need to find a good normal here that fits snow so what we're actually going to do is we're going to come down here to our texture thing and the material that we're going to use for this is an Iceland and then underscore snow normal and I think this should be a better normal for the snow that we're using we can come over here and search for it so Iceland underscore snow and if I double click this it'll open it up in here this is the normal that we'll see as we get closer and I think that's much better than what we were using which I was using this normal and now we're gonna use this one and I think this one uh, is a little too, you can see on the screen behind us, it's just a little too, I don't know, vivid for snow. So we, we want something that's just nice and, and, and simple. In our snow, we now have everything that we need to have. So we're going to save this asset. 
and it's going to apply the changes to the original material and its use in the world and we're going to have a bit of a wait time here so as you can see uh, I can go ahead and close this we now have over 3500 shaders to compile so I'll be back when that finishes and we're back post all of the shader compilations so um, I, I went ahead and put it down where the old snow was and and I think it looks a lot better um, as you can see when we get close it it looks sort of like a little bit windswept uh, and not like a jungle pebble um, uh, imagine that uh, so that's good that's exactly what I wanted um, if you have any questions on how this landscape material works please do let me know I'm more than happy to help as always uh, I, I really do think this this looks good and this will be the snow that I'll use for uh, any of the snow biomes that we do so if you have any questions please let me know I'm always happy to help like comment subscribe all that jazz and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Yeah.